Good morning, historical fashion friends! Today I'm going to be showing you all the items I got with my gift card to Burnley and Trowbridge, which my mom sent me for Christmas, and I'm looking forward to seeing them because uh, the 18th century is probably my favorite, specifically like 1770 to like 1785, right before it starts going whoop, whoop, whoop with the waistline. So I got a number of accessories to go with the dresses that I'll be making and my Demelza necklace, which was featured, uh, I think, last episode. No, two episodes ago. So let's get to it. Number one, we have cotton stockings, which are beautiful. I am obsessed with this color. You can see today's like a warm theme decoration in the background of my outfit. <clears throat> uh, I got the large size of these, which it says is for like men, but um, I have like really massive feet. If you don't know, I'm super tall. So I have large feet, otherwise I would fall down more than I already do. So I got it and I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna open it because <laughs> it looks so cute like this. <sighs> okay, we're gonna do it. Oh, I'm like, maybe, maybe I can just slip this off so I can save it. I'm like one of those people that like tries to save all of the wrapping paper because it's too cute. <gasps> Look at these. Oh my God. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Yes. Cute insert of me putting these on. I'll just have put these lovelies out to the side. Okay, next are two handkerchiefs, neckerchiefs. Um, there's a theme, yellow. Uh, my dress is not going to be yellow. I have two dresses that I'm making and one of them is like a red, like it has all of these colors in it, this color scheme, but mm, the red is the background. And then the other one is like a teal, which I thought would contrast nicely with this. So, okay, let's open it. Oh my God. Look at these edges. It won't do it. I'll show you up close later. So beautiful. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna make a triangle here, and oh yeah, now I'm a fashionable 18th century lady. I can do give it a little knot. You can tuck it in. Oh yeah, I feel stylish. <clears throat> okay, the next one. Oh yeah. Gorgeous. Let's 
Let's remove this one. And they have such a great selection too. I was really struggling to figure out which ones I wanted to get. Look at, this must be the same exact like dye pot or some like dye color because look, they're identical. <laughs> oh, that has a little label. Historic Fashion Reproductions by Burnland Trowbridge Co. Okay, let's see this one. Let me know which one of these two is your favorite in the comments. Or if you hate green and yellow, you can say that too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like it. This is, my, this is my mannequin also, and right now she's like got some mock-ups for some medieval clothing items on it. And I was really hoping that the uh, woad dive thing this morning I was doing would be um, like my perfect little gray-blue color for a super secret costume I'm making. But, eh, yeah, it basically washed all out, so I don't know. I have more of the same wool coming, so I might dye it a different color. It's so weird. Okay, a thrifty notion ended up with like 17 yards of the exact same fabric that I bought in a one yard no, in a two and two thirds yard bunch at D Stash. But it's like the exact same. I thought for a minute, I was like, why didn't I order more fabric when I was buying it in the first place? When I was looking on Thrifty Notion. And then I was like, I didn't get it there. I thought it'd D Stash, but it was the same exact thing. What's calling me? Spam. Spam is calling me right now. This is the reason why. I live in California, but I keep a New Hampshire area code on my phone because then I always know when it's spam because absolutely no one from New Hampshire would have any reason to call me other than my parents who are like in my phone. So you can't get me, robocall. Okay, and one last thing from Burnley and Trowbridge. It is, oh, my two last things. This very fashionable red checked linen, which is going to become an 18th century apron. And uh, maybe I'll have some left over, but probably not. Probably not. Oh yeah. Oh yes. I'm gonna be the most fashionable lady. <clears throat> I just want to recreate all of the, like, 18th century pictures of lady peasants with cats. And I already, like, dress historically when I go out and feed cats. And the cats, they don't seem to mind, so... They should be in pictures with me. Already, Loaf Jr. likes to pose her pictures like he's this witch. Look at, look at how much he looks like a witch. He did, I didn't pose him like this. He literally stood next to this broom and he was like, that's right, I'm a freaking witch. Okay, and last thing. They are buckles. I'm going to go to the thrift store and try to find, I know it's a quest because my size 11 feet are hard to find secondhand shoes for. I want to find a shoe that looks appropriate in style that I can cover and turn into 18th century shoes and that's why I got these super cute buckles. They're brass. They're going along with my golden theme. I think I have. Got these oh, little sharp, sharp little prongs. Oh my gosh. I never used a buckle like this. They're so cute. That's it for my Burnley and Trowbridge haul. I hate that, but I hate like haul. Uh, that's it for my Burnley and Trowbridge shopping. 
But I wanted to include two other things I got from a different order because there's not really like any other video to put them in. But they are also for 18th century stuff. <clears throat> Which is, I ordered this from French, vintage French ribbons. It's beautiful. I'm going to use it on like a waistband. Like probably on one of them under boob style dresses, you know, Regency. Uh, but then they, I also, they sent this, which I didn't think I ordered, but it was the right price. So it was the same thing. And I got this little yellow ribbon, which could be like a little hair one and do a little do do do, little braid situation. And the yellow matches here. Anyway, these are like, this is like my favorite color combo blue, light blue, and light pink. It's so beautiful. Reminds me of babies. <clears throat> I know that's just social conditioning that it reminds me of babies, but it reminds me of babies, and babies are cute, so... If you don't think babies are cute, that's also fine. Thanks for watching this super quick video today, uh, in between while I'm catching up on some sewing, and the next video, um... <sighs> It m m probably is going to be my woe dying disaster. As of right now, I've put the fabric back in the bath and we'll see if that helps. If it doesn't help, it's going to become relegated to a um, lower class character persona because right now the color is like um, dish water. But it was a beautiful powder blue gray last night, so. Rest in pieces. Thanks for watching. As always, subscribe if you want to see more from me. Give it a like if you want to help the algorithm. All mystical algorithm. Ye that are even more confusing than putting in sleeves. And if you want to see just pictures of me with no talking, which could be understandable, you can go to my Instagram at gabrielle.westwood. Thanks for watching. See you next time.